Hello everyone, Joey here. So um, I just want to make a little, little review video. Um, well, I purchased, or better, I ordered the Metal Gear Solid HD collection from one US shop, and it arrived yesterday. And I played already uh, eight hours straight, and I began playing Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. And so there I uh, found some uh, differences to the European release of the PS2 version. Uh, exactly to say from the director's cut of Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, which is called uh, Existence or something like that. Oh no, no that's the, the, the name for this 8 hour long animated movie. Anyway, Subsistence is the name. And I realized, okay, I ordered this from the US, and then I found out, um, well, all these country flag face and body camos aren't there. So in the European release you had these camos with, uh, for example, with the German flag as a camo for face and body and for French and Spain and all the uh, European countries. So they are missing from the US release since they got only released in Europe. And I also realized that the Snake Forest Monkey Mode in which you had to catch some nasty monkeys in a set amount of time is also missing. This is another game mode which is uh, only exclusive in Europe. And that's maybe the, the reason why uh, the Metal Gear Solid HD collection is is going to be released in February next year, because they have to uh, to work a little bit more on uh, to to port this uh, modes to and this camos to the uh, version here in Europe. And um, but I'm I'm not very uh, disappointed about the fact that Snake Force Monkey isn't there because I really dislike this Snake Force Monkey mode, uh, especially uh, if you think there could be a trophy in the European release in which you have to finish all these uh, Snake Force Monkey stages with uh, place one. Uh, one of uh, a different kind of this trophy is available in uh, the trophy set for Metal Gear Solid 2 uh, Sons of Liberty and I'm glad I don't have to uh, complete the stages with place one to get a trophy for it. Uh, but sadly, we have a trophy in the MGS3 edition from the HD collection in which you still have to shoot all this hidden 64 frogs in the main game. And I never did that in uh, while I was playing the game on the PlayStation 2. And, well, I'm, I'm glad that I don't have to finish the Snake Force Monkey stages on place 1. But I'm a little bit uh, disappointed about the fact that I'd have to shoot all the frogs to get a trophy for it. Um, my One of my uh, Twitter companions, uh, Green Bullet, told me um, if I'm going to shoot all the frogs then I get the stealth camo. Uh, so this is a, a good uh, motivation for me to, to shoot all the frogs this time and not only for the trophy, even for getting this uh, stealth camo which is pretty good and I guess it's, it, it, it's some kind of... In the PlayStation 2 release you don't have this, this, this motivation to shoot all the frogs because you, you, you came through the game very good without the, the stealth camo and why would you need to shoot all the 64 frogs, especially the, the, the frogs which you have to shoot in the driving parts of the Metal Gear Solid 3 uh, main game. And yeah, so this is the motivation for me to shoot all the frogs. And I'm glad I don't have to use uh, to make all the Snake Force Monkey stages. And uh, there's another thing that a little bit disappointed me. So, well, the HD collection also got the two MSX Metal Gear games, Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, and there is no trophy for completing those games. I mean, these are classic Metal Gear Solid games. They belong to the Metal Gear Solid franchise, to the Metal Gear franchise in general. And it would be nice if there is a trophy to complete these games, but it is, is not. So, 
well, um, many gamers would be forced to complete these games for the trophy and maybe some of the gamers would have loved the two old MSX Metal Gear games that way. Um, yeah, but it can't be changed. So um, these are my first impressions from the Metal Gear Solid HD Collection US release. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy the European release as well. I don't think so. Uh, well, I would like to hear your thoughts on the Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. Please write a comment. And yeah, and that's for this little, little mini first thoughts about the HD Collection. And uh, see you around in my next Let's Play video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you like. Uh, share this channel. Share with your people. And well, I'm, I'm happy and I'm looking forward to hear your comments about your impressions of the Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. Uh, this uh, first review isn't very specific about the, the changes between the, the original version and the HD rendition. rendition. So um, maybe I'll do another uh, review, uh, second thoughts on the Metal Gear Solid HD Collection next week or something like that. And for now, just see you around. Goodbye.